This presentation identifies the effects of winding options for the coreless axial flux alternator. Losses are almost entirely in the rotor windings. Litz wire can almost eliminate the new eddy component, but with some increase of output resistance. Windage can be significant, but may be considered just a loss in the prime mover, and in any case it is useful for cooling. The loss equivalent circuit is thus simple, where R out is the winding resistance per phase referred to the rectifier output. A principal concern is thermal dissipation in the stator, given exactly by this expression. It gives rise to a figure of merit, useful for assessing real machines. Only the measured output power, the attendant RMS output voltage and the winding resistance are needed to estimate the dissipation. The RMS voltage depends upon the number of phases and consequent ripple content. Figure of merit is useful in the design process. It doesn't depend on the value of the load or number of turns selected for the winding. It does depend on the efficiency of filling the available winding space. This shows the fundamental difference in how voltage is generated in iron cord and coreless machines. Every wire in a core slot generates the identical voltage as if it were located at a point in the gap immediately above or below the slot. Coreless on the right generates an average around the peak depending on the width of the coil. This voltage is that for the figure of merit as long as the winding resistance is significantly less than that of the load, otherwise a correction must be made involving the resistance of the load. This illustrates two options for three phase windings in the bike alternator. With overlapped coils shown here progressively wound, the winding fully occupies the available space. At peak position, every limb of the active phase covers the centre of a magnet for maximum induced voltage. Non-overlapped has three coils for each four magnets. Because of this fixed space, any gaps between coils will severely reduce their maximum intercepts with the peak flux, potentially destroying the figure of merit. Pre-wound coils may be used, but they should be as close as possible with limbs centred along radii. This scheme, with optimum limb widths, only partially occupies the total winding space for inherently inferior figure of merit. This table details relative figures of merit, including further options and factors for number of phases and ripple content. Not included is the effect of limb overhang beyond the magnets, which could be the overriding consideration in some cases. Figures of merit decrease in proportion to the limb to magnet length ratio. Output ripple may be overcome by a switching controller, effectively to present resistive loads to the alternator. An initially high basic voltage needs only down conversion and improves Litz winding effectiveness. Increasing number of phases reduce ripple, but with progressive performance reduction. The figure of merit calculation basis is appended.